here comes Sarah Palin. It's like the gift of Sarah Palin yeah. in my life. She's just, she's my spirit animal. I check her <laughs> She's your spirit animal. Every day. I love her so much. Have and you it, ever met her? Not yet, but it's oh gonna Oh my happen. God. Can we get Sarah Palin on the goddamn line here, David? Yeah, What's I going think, on? I think we can book, may, arrange that. Oh my God. That was is, part two of Lisa Ann on the Sauce cast. Lisa Ann, Amber, Sarah, Sarah Palin. Now, Amber, how old were you in 2008? I was 14. Okay. So you weren't legal yet. Do you remember the 2008 election? You yes. do remember that. Absolutely. Do you remember? So you do you remember? Do you remember who was running in the 2008 election? Uh, was, it, was it was it Romney and, and Palin? No, it was uh, McCain. McCain and it was Palin. John McCain. Well, B- Palin was a star. She was yeah. a celebrity. She was. She, I feel like she was our first celebrity presidential candidate. She was like yeah. I, before Obama. Like I, I feel like Palin was the one who okay. was the most trendy or the most like ridiculous the first one that had a, like yeah. a personality beyond um, she was the, the first maybe non-politician one. that that really yeah. hit the pop scene that, right she was like a character of herself. okay so, and, she was a character and yeah. who who played sarah palin first and who played it better you or tina fey, or tina fey. exactly Ooh. it's funny because i love tina fey such a huge tina fey fan and she wrote me into a couple of speeches and there's some great quotes out there where tina fey says uh you know lisa ann played sarah palin but lisa ann knows more about foreign policy but i know more about three ways like she, she really <laughs> she really played this of course she played her better because yes. they have script writers and they have all these people i mean i was given my palin scene you know all, all the movies like mm-hmm. you're, you're handed the script the same day and they're like figure this out and i but I wouldn't let the production companies buy my wardrobe because I did not trust them and I knew I wanted to be so specific with Sarah's look so Mm -hmm. I studied all of her looks and I sew uh, one of my crafts, my secret hobbies. Can we and pull up? Uh, so yeah, what I did was I bought because suits. you wanted to honor I, her uh, perfectly. I wanted the suits to look exactly like hers. I, but I knew Larry Flint loves legs, so I knew the suits had to be short. I knew I couldn't trust a tailor. I bought all. I took in all because you had to pornify these suits. But I spent more money on my suits than I made in the Sarah Palin movies. Did you what? really? I did. What do you mean? How much did you spend on your outfits and versus how much you made on those movies? I spent more money on my outfits than I made. Would you but, break down the it, numbers? Why, it, why, why, how did that work? Because I knew that this was going to be big. I knew that I'd wear the suits out on the road, feature mm-hmm. dancing, and I knew that everybody was going to see this. And I knew that the... Nothing against Hustler, but I knew they'd put me in some weird polyester, mm. like cheap looking, and it wouldn't do Sarah justice, right? This is very interesting to me as a concept that you, because you didn't feel the actual work disrespected her. N- well, no, not at all. I mean, sh- the, the, no, I, I had a moment. Nina Hartley had asked me if I would play Sarah Palin, and I was like, I don't know if I'd want to do that to somebody. But then when Larry Flint's people reached out, I was like, for Larry, I'd do anything. Um, really? The legendary Larry Flint? Rest Flint, in huh? peace, just passed away this past year. But when I first moved to California from becoming pen pals with his assistant, who then became his wife, hmm. I became like family friends with them and would go dinner at their house and take trips with them. So when this came about... Yes, I did not want to disrespect her wardrobe because she was so specific. She wore, I had the exact glasses. She wore t- always two pair of lashes, not one. I mean, I would stand at my TV and study everything that she was doing. Were you thinking she would see it and you wanted to? No, I just knew that the first day on set, we were going to have our first day where there was mainstream crews there. Like TMZ was going to be there and all these different reporters. You just wanted to gonna... nail the role. I wanted to nail it. Oh, she it. nailed it. All right, buddy. <laughs> and I wanted to make it like, look, I was in an Eminem video as Sarah yep. Palin. Like, I just knew that that was an investment that was going to make me a ton of money. And that last four years going on the road and, and dancing in the, you know, in Palin suits and everything, like... That was a minor investment mm-hmm. to market the product exactly. properly to make the maximum. The ROI on that was insane, insane, right? Is that what you're saying? Insane. That's insane. my girl. Insane. And there was no way I was trusting them because they wouldn't have spent the quality. I knew what brands she was buying. I was ordering Tahari suits. Like I was getting the same brands as her mm-hmm. because, you know, there'd be like lookbooks where you could look at exactly where she got. And then I'd just taper them and tailor them myself. I had my talent agency at that time, and I had my sewing machine in the agency. I had everything pinned and pressed that I was going to be doing. It just looked like a sweatshop for hookers. Like, it was, like, the weirdest <laughs> looking place ever and nailed it. Lisa, I, I, can I ask, after the success of Nail and Palin, did you get approached to play another 
political figure or another Barack Obama. Yeah. Was it a- <laughs> there was a, 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 a Palin, Nalen Obama <laughs> no! scene that we did. There Hell was, yeah. By the way, the first one was the one that everybody knows about. We, we shot yes. six more because in porno, they have right. to ring everything out. Right. I did get approached to play Tina Fey in a 30 Rock parody. What? So then I did the same thing. I did the same thing with Tina Fey's look. And, and so I played Tina Fey in a 30 Rock parody. Wow. I love how they come up. Like, how do they come up with the porn names? Like, I'm sure that instead of 30 Rock, they called it 30 Cock. Or instead 30 of Rock like. 30 Rock X. You have to yeah, change exactly. so much about it. Like, we had to right. spell Sarah Palin's name differently. It was um, P-A-Y for parody protection. Course. And I learned all of that from Larry. You know, I went with him to speak. Larry Flint. Yep. I learned, I went to D.C. with him to speak because Congress was having an issue with this. This is when parodies were really becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, And he knew everything. He was a brilliant man. And look, if it wasn't for Larry Flint, I wouldn't have this life. Uh, Why do you owe it to him? Well, because, you know, he fought for our rights to be able to make this a legal taxpaying career to be in the smut business is what it was called mm-hmm. back when he was fighting that trial. If you ever right. saw The People versus Larry People versus, Flynn. You're, you're familiar with this movie? Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's the history of really how this came about to be legal and not be considered prostitution or to banned in certain states, you know, those types of things. So to me, he was our frontier. Speaking of Sarah Palin, how do you think she would have done as a VP? You know, I wanted to go and feature dance in Alaska when I was doing the Palin thing. It's the one state that would not let me go there because people liked her so much and liked her politics Mm -hmm. so much. The clubs didn't want to cause any sort of protest or what have you. So that really made me start studying her more. She might have come off unprepared but Mm -hmm. she's a very intelligent woman and she does have that really grounded i know what americans want because she's a mom um she's a a real person she just said some very flippant things that made it easy to play her when she said she could see russia from her backyard (laughs) i was like legendary i cannot wait to say that in this movie like she just did things but she was unprepared now here's the question did she earn your vote did you vote for Obama and Biden, or did you vote for McCain and Palin? <laughs> Who'd you vote for? <laughs> well, I I couldn't. I just was too worried that McCain wasn't going to make it for too long. So I, it's sad. It's sad you to admit didn't. that I did not vote for Sarah Palin at that time. Sarah Palin. I'm so, I can't be... believe you asked me. It's such an awkward and personal question. <laughs> oh, it's question. okay. But you That's said the question that, that offends me, Sam. Nothing was off She's limits. talking about gangbangs and all this and having fun. <laughs> Don't but ask. I'm you, you, sorry, you Sailor. And I hope that Sarah still wants to interview with us uh, yes, and does because I would vote that. for her now. <laughs> she was at the wrong time. If she was yeah. during the Trump era, the, everything oh, she said would have been nuts. Nice. Boom. I agree. Been fine. Timing is everything. Yeah. Did you ever hear the Dave Chappelle? Con- I mean, you're a comedian. You've done, yeah, you're an actress. Uh, did you ever hear the Dave Chappelle thing that he did about politics and sex? It's a bit where he's like basically like. Um, He's talking with a buddy and he's like, so look, I'm with my wife last night. The guy's like, hold on, excuse me. Let me just ask you a question. Uh, Who are you voting for? He's like, buddy, buddy, you're asking me all these personal questions. I'm trying to tell you that I'm having sex with my wife last night. I'm banging my wife. He's like, I just want to know who you voted for. Stop with the personal (laughs) questions. I'm trying to tell you about banging my wife. It's a bit. He talks about how... You know, politics, politics. is uh, more personal than sex. Mm-hmm. Uh, it really, truly is. We were taught to only talk about it at the dinner table with family, and that's it. You were never allowed to talk about who you voted for. That's the question yeah. that stumps or offends Lisa Ann. Did you vote for <laughs> Sarah? I don't want Speak- her to think I didn't believe in her, but she yes. still wants to meet her. Um, you I should. Do. No, and you will. You should. And speaking of voting in polls, yes, David. Uh, we ran a poll: Sarah Palin or Lisa Ann. Seventy-nine uh, percent voted for. Sarah Lisa Palin. Ann. Lisa Ann, clearly. Oh, Hello. But can Clap you it up, up for Lisa can Ann. You pull up Sarah's <laughs> IG because yeah. she's really rocking right now. When mm-hmm. she was in New York for the New York Times lawsuit, I was like, her style is on point. She's super lean. She's very fit. I was like, mm-hmm. lady, you are getting. She's her, just. Yeah. Her she, Instagram handle is Nailin Palin 96. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, during the Nailin Palin era, I was banned from all of her social. I was blocked. And then she must have what hired a new. B- blocked from her social. Like I would go on, you know, people block you and then 2008 you see that it. must have been uh facebook super and offended possibly twitter at that point yeah and look at her yeah. isn't she dashing she really really is she's no um, lisa ann but respect she's no to her. lisa ann people, oh people. she's also dating that young younger guy the hockey player another thing i love about who her. is she dating she, now really? she's dating this hot retired hockey player who's in his 30s this was we'll a big part him. of the new york trip um how milfy of her people do forget milfy. how 
milfy she was into the media didn't know what to do with her didn't at that really point with her. because she was hot and crazy she was hot and crazy <laughs> and not the smartest but also not an idiot and she was the candidate and she, she was, was attractive the do you know who the governor, governor people didn't know what to do with her do you know who the governor of alaska is now no lisa huh? ann no murkowski you're joking i am not joking no lisa ann- I am not- Lisa, she's That's a senator. Excellent. But Lisa Murkowski is a senator. He's in his 30s? Unless she's now a governor. <laughs> I thought she was now a governor. But anyway, but the point be... is she's running Alaska. Lisa okay. Ann Murkowski. So Lisa Murkowski. Murkowski. Pull up Lisa Ann Murkowski. Lisa Murkowski and Sarah were going back and forth in like mm-hmm. some Lisa social media and... war. And I said to myself, self, Mur- what are the chances Lisa Murkowski's name, middle name is Ann? Go look this up immediately. And I went and looked it up and, and there it was. Oh my God. Because every Lisa yeah. from my generation, their there middle is. name Lisa was Lisa Ann Murkowski. Ann. 